Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and today we're talking about Substance Painter. Now, Substance Painter is probably the preeminent texturing tool. You will find this in pretty much every single AAA studio you go and check. It is one of the nicest ways to create 3D textures directly on your models, uh, and it was purchased, yay, by Adobe, oh, uh, probably a couple of years back. And one of the things Adobe did, Adobe being Adobe, is it gave it the ugliest set of icons you have ever seen in your life. And they also made it subscription-based because this is Adobe. Now, regardless to what Adobe does with their software, Algorithmics, the makers of uh, Substance, have continuously made great products. And Substance 3D, uh, it just got a little bit better. Substance Painter, the branding is getting a little confusing right now. So we're going to look at what is new in Substance uh, 3D Painters 7.3 uh, today. One thing I also want to point out to you, uh, let's take a look down here when we get to the bottom. There are a couple of plans here. Uh, you'll see you can get a $20 a month subscription for it. There's the collection for 20% off. We're going to get back to that one at the end of this video because there is another offer, offer out there I want you to be aware of. Also, uh, they're available for free for students and teachers. One of those things to be aware of as well. All right, so what we're talking about today is the 7.3 release. And the two biggest things here are two new projection methods. And the first one is the big one, warp projection. And this is a way of basically um, adding things to a fill layer and fill effects. So you can see here, this texture has been projected directly on the model using the new warp projection. Quick setup via drag and drop, choose material and alpha, a texture or procedural from the asset library, drag it onto the desired part of the mesh. Uh, if it's not a material pop-up, we'll inquire which channel you'd like to assign it to. Uh, then so once it's assigned, you've got automatic placement with the surface tool. Uh, you got fine-tuned control over everything you are working with there. And then there are uh, standard manipulators, W for translation, um, R, e, sorry, E for rotation and R for scale. I know that one's a little confusing, uh, but that's just the standard we went with. Um, and then easy editable warp grid once it is applied. So you see here, you've got a lot of fine-tuned control over how that thing is applied. You can even like split the fidelity of the grid, as you can see in action there. You can also move an individual uh, existing point uh, kind of not snapping. So you see you can move things off as you wish. So automatic adjustment of vertex orientation is there. If you want to check out more of that, there is some dedicated documentation on that. On top of that, we've also got new cylindrical projection. Uh, probably not as cool as this, but if you want to uh, warp an image around a mesh cylindrical projection may be right for you uh, you can adjust the angle of the projection as you can see in this video right here uh, definitely another nice one but again I think the big one here is definitely this new warp projection and this has had some ramifications on other tools used in substance painter we'll get to that in just a second uh, they've also done improvements to the color picker um, Release brings several quality of life improvements. New uh, window layout, improved color picker has been reworked to accommodate a more vertical layout. Uh, it's divided into three sections, the main color field, uh, which includes the current and last selection, the hex field, the eyedropper, and the hue slider, manual RGB HSV slider section, and the swatches. Uh, new 0 to 255 RGB values, saving color swatches. Um, color picker window remains open. Uh, so definitely one of those things, nice and a more accessible eyedropper. And then we've got some other improvements. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, that new warp projection has some implications here because you've got asset drag and drop improvements. So now when you drop a decal or decal, uh, it's actually using the warp projection instead of the old planner projection. And also, so you're getting all those other new advantages of it, the, the placement tools and so on. Uh, moreover, it's now possible to drag and drop not only materials, but image type assets into the viewer um, viewport. So when selecting alpha, a texture, or procedural, uh, there's no need to use the alt modifier. It can be dropped onto the mesh that would prompt a menu, giving the option to select whether the image should be used within a mask or any of the layer's channels. Um, Auto save plugin improvements, performance improvements, new functions in the Python API, Substance Engine updated, and uh, receiving Substance 3D assets from CC Desktop is now possible to access 3D assets like materials, atlases, decals from the CC Desktop application, and uh, moreover, they can be sent directly to the Painter library. And then we've got the full release notes here. So this is kind of more into fine-tuned details. Now, if you happen to have picked up Substance on uh, Steam, you'll find uh, Substance 3D Painter 2021 uh, has received the exact same update. So uh, uh, everything we just talked about here is also available in the Steam release. Uh, so you can pick up Substance on Steam as well uh, for a flat price. Hopefully this doesn't go away. Now, interestingly enough, 
they've been getting bombed with negative reviews. So I'm not really sure what is up there, but there is an alternative way of buying it uh, if you want to check it out on Steam. And Steam did get the 7.3 update we talked about here. So this isn't just for um, Adobe subscribers. It's also been updated on Steam. Now I mentioned earlier on about the offers that were available. So we see right here, and there's a 20% offer here to make it uh, $39.99 a month. Well, I've also found this offer here, uh, and it's available at substance3d.com forward slash launch, da launch dash offer. And you'll see here you can get the Substance 3D collection, which includes a stager, painter, sampler, and designer. The two big ones you're going to want are designer and painter. Uh, and 50 materials, models, and lightings per month. Uh, and this is for 50% off. Now, there are some caveats here. Uh, and I don't know the full conditions here. So offer started on June the 23rd, expires on December the 31st, and is available to customers who receive an invitation directly from Adobe. So you can get 50% off for a one-year term when purchased via personalized link sent to you. So that is the challenge. You need to figure out how to get that particular link. But all I know is I would reach out to Adobe Sales because there's no way I'm going to pay this, the $39.99 a month, when I know there is a 50% off $24.99 a month uh, offer available until December the 31st. First. So if you're thinking about picking up Substance Painter Designer as a package, uh, do be aware this launch offer is out there, and hopefully you can figure out a way to get a hold of this one, because um, just so you know, this much better offer is out there. Let's see what actually happens. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to pick my country, and submit, and all right, there you go. Yeah, so you may be able to do this, so basically, uh, hopefully you just put in your email, uh, and you're good. So 395 Canadian or monthly 32.99 a month. I don't know what that deal actually works out to. I should have done US. It would have been easier to understand. But I will drop this link down to below. See if it works for you. So if you want to go ahead and pick up Substance, you can grab it this way. Also, do be aware, as I mentioned earlier on, the Steam version also gets um, the, the update here as well. So that's definitely nice. You may notice down here, you'll get updates until the end of 2021. So you're basically, this is like the old fashioned way of, you know, buying software on an annual basis as opposed to being forced into subscriptions. Uh, but uh, that is actually coming to the end though. So it's one of the things to be aware of. Now there's no promise that there is going to be a Substance Painter 2022 with Steam at the helm. So, oh, sorry, with uh, Adobe at the helm. So this may be the last version. Who, who knows at this particular case? Uh, but do be aware that this isn't an ongoing update thing. You're only going to get updates till the end of 2021. But this was part of the Steam update. It looks like this is about $150 to buy it flat out. And by the way, once this year is up, you can still keep using it. You're just not going to get updates anymore. So it's like the old fashioned way of buying software. And then the new fangled way, do be aware once again, this 50% off launch offer is out there. It just could be a little tricky to get your hands on it. Otherwise, it is 20% off. So this is a substantially better deal. I will have that link with the linked article down below if you want to go ahead and check that out. Uh, but that is that. Substance Painter 7.3. Substance has always been my favorite of the algorithmic tools. Designer is cool. It's a, it's a tool for making uh, textures procedurally. Uh, but this is probably the single nicest way that you can find a texture. Now, if you're looking for free alternatives, by the way, uh, there's Material Maker and Armory Paint, which is free if you build it yourself. I've covered both of those on the channel a couple of times in the past. Both are great to check out if you uh, don't want to pick up, don't want to support Adobe, or uh, you can't afford Substance Suite. Uh, there's, there are alternatives out there just to be aware of. So that is that Substance Painter uh, 7.3 release. Let me know what you think. Talk to me down below. Goodbye. Yeah. Bad ending. All right. You know what I mean. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.